on this episode of Living the Dream. Captain Jimmy and Louisa travel to the plantation on Crystal River. They head offshore with Captain Eric Hasty of Shasty McNasty Fishing. And all are dealt hours of constant angling action. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is presented by Salt Life. Live Salty. Fish. Woo! Hey! Man, what a fish! Wow! Doesn't get any better than Baja. This is awesome! What I'm talking about. <laughs> On this trip out of the plantation on Crystal River, Louise and I hooked up with our buddy Captain Eric Hasty of Shasty McNasty, and we decided to head offshore to try to catch some grouper and snapper. When we got to the first spot, it was a wreck, and what Louise and I decided to do was drop down our vertical jigs and see what we could pull up off the bottom. My jig got hit right away, and I could tell it was an amberjack. There it is. Oh, right. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Got it. And he's running. Well, welcome back to another episode of Living the Dream. Today we're fishing out of the plantation on Crystal River with Captain Eric Hasty of Shasty McNasty, and we're starting off with pulling on some amberjack. If you're gonna catch amberjack, you do wanna catch them first thing in the morning because they will wear you out. So we're gonna start with these guys and then possibly do some grouper and snapper a little later on. Not long after I hooked up, I heard Louisa saying that she had a grouper on the other side of the boat. Jimmy, I think I have one too. All right. <laughs> Doubled up. Woo. I just jigged him up on one of those uh, tsunami knife jigs. This is a five and a half ouncer because we're only in 60 feet of water. That was a great way to start off the day with a double on an amberjack and a grouper. Amberjack will fight you all the way to the top, too. And what I was saying there, nice thing about these guys, they don't have any teeth or anything in their mouth, so you can grab them, do what you need to do to lift them in the boat. Real good fish there. <laughs> there it is, well done, wow. Louisa. Nice one, Jay. On those tsunami Woo! knife jigs. Did the trick, great double, first drop here. Awesome, awesome way to start. Great way to start. That's what we caught it on right there. Vertical jigs are pretty killer for amberjack. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. And my work is done. <laughs> there he goes. All right. Wow, well done, Eric. First drop, time for drop number two. <laughs> After throwing Louisa's gag in the ingle and my AJ back in the water, I went ahead and dropped down a live bait to see what else I could pick up down there. There was a bunch of AJs at this spot, so of course, by dropping that live bait, I ended up hooking another AJ. After seeing Louisa pull that grouper up, I decided to drop a pinfish down and see if I can get another grouper. But no, oh man, this might be an AJ. They're a lot of fun though. AJs are great fighters. They're very strong fish. They're not in season right now, so we were just catching them for fun, but they are a great fish to catch. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, look at that school of AJs. Wow, that's a lot of them. I think if the water temperature is a lot cooler on the surface than on the bottom, they hit about 20 feet below the surface and they just want to head right back down. It's like it just shocks them. Whoa. Our water temperature dropped from about 75 to 59 in a week. And now we're back up to a little over 60 on the surface out here. And there he is. Again, just using a pinfish with an 8-0 circle hook. 
and that's what it produced. <laughs> Big ol' AJ. Fun, fun fish to catch in season or out of season. I've always loved catching these guys. They put up a heck of a fight. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life. Live salty. Sea Deck. Your boat deserves Sea Deck. CNH Lures. Be a winner with CNH Lures. Yozuri. Fish the best. Engel Coolers. The original high performance cooler. And by Cressy. Since 1946. You're watching Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson, presented by Salt Life. It's just one of those places that you can catch fish year round, and I would highly suggest coming and checking out the plantation on Crystal River and enjoying a day on the water. As you guys know, one of my favorite places in the world to fish is right here on the plantation on Crystal River because you catch so many fish, whether you're inshore fishing for redfish, snook, or trout, or you're offshore fishing like we did on this trip. And I live right here, you know, 20 minutes away, so it's definitely a blessing to be able to come out here and catch nice grouper and snapper, amberjack. Jimmy has just landed another Amber Jack, and he's ready to revive and release it. All right, sending another one on his way. Another hefty fish. Oh gosh, look at that. That thing would not even give me the chance to revive him. <laughs> it's right out of my hands. It's another good thing about this cold water, man. They recover very quickly because it's full of oxygen. The warmer water in the summertime is just, you know, it just kind of wears them out quicker. There's less oxygen in it. And you do have to revive them a little more, but they're kicking off fine in this 60 degree water. After releasing that second AJ, I noticed that there were a whole bunch of AJs on the surface, so I decided to go ahead and grab a Yozuri 3D popper and see if I could hook one up on a popper. After flipping that popper out there, I only got to pop it about two times and then it got slammed by an AJ. Oh! <laughs> That's the way to catch an amberjack. Oh man, on the Yozuri 3D popper. It is exciting to see those amberjack hit on the top like that. They just come right up and crush it. No better way to have a fish hit a lure, in my opinion, than on the top of the water. He's not gonna come up easy. What I did with that uh, 3D popper there is I popped off the treble hooks and threw on a couple 5 aught J hooks just so it's a lot easier taking them out when I get the fish near the surface. And that's the deal with Amberjack right there. I mean, it is just <laughs> a constant battle. They will fight till the very last second when you're pulling them out of the water. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life Optics, unparalleled clarity and contrast. Cayman Islands Angling Club. Come experience sport fishing in paradise. Papa's Pilar, never a spectator. Plantation on Crystal River, the place to stay and play along Florida's nature coast. And by American Fishing Wire. After unwinding at the plantation on Crystal River, Jimmy and Louisa met up with Captain Eric Hasty of Shasty McNasty Fishing and headed offshore. They dropped anchor over a wreck loaded with Amber Jack, and the trip got off to a good start with a great double. There it is. All right. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Got it. And he's running. It's an amazing way to start off with a big amberjack and a grouper as our first drop. After dropping a live bait and landing another AJ, 
Jimmy got a powerful topwater bite and hooked up on a Yozuri 3D popper. The rod and reel that I'm using for these big fish is a Tsunami Shield 6000 and an Airwave Elite 20 to 40 class spinning rod. Can definitely handle these big fish. Man, these, these wintertime AJs get big and they are strong this time of year too, man. Super tough, like I was saying earlier. They just, they're just get that extra kick in them in the wintertime in this cooler water. Here he is. Woo! Good one. So I got that AJ near the surface and reached down and tried to grab it without getting a hook in my hand. All right, I have a hook dangling by my hand. Let's see if I can handle it here. I don't want to be connected to an amberjack, that's for sure. There he is. All right. And that's what he hit. Imagine trying to get treble hooks out of this guy. I'm going to go ahead and take this one out right away. Just so I don't have it swinging around my hand. Must add ultra points. Super sharp hook. They got a great barb on them, so they don't come out easy. I have to grab my, oh yeah, right by my arm. Look at that. Talk about lucky. Let's get this out of here before something bad happens. Goodbye. <laughs> Woo, that was a little sketchy there for a second. Had that hook dangling right by my arm. Man, another beast of an AJ. And that one came up on top water. Woo. There's another look at that bruiser there. Louisa ended up hooking into another gag on the Tsunami knife jig. Woo! <laughs> These things are so much fun to catch. That's why I love jigging. It's one of my favorite things to do. You never know when that fish is gonna hit. <laughs> it looks like it's a good one, huh? Yeah. Is it a grouper or an AJ? Ooh, I got I had a grouper earlier, so I wouldn't mind this to being a <laughs> grouper. It. But if it's an AJ, I'm happy with it too. Let's get up here and try to get a look at it. Whoa. Oh Louisa, you gotta be kidding I me. Another a big old gag. Dead grouper. Another monster. And there's an Emberjack following him. Oh my goodness, oh Louisa. Oh my god, I'm killing it, dude. Woo. Well Woo. done. Yeah. Couple drops and a couple gags. Yeah, on a tsunami vertical jig. Golly. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Good job. That was awesome! Oh, come on in here, let's show them this we've got here. <laughs> now she can jig up some grouper, I tell you what. Yeah! I can tell the way it's fighting a little different than it wasn't probably an AJ. It was a little different. <laughs> Uh, she's like, drop yeah. a live bait down, see if you can get a grouper. I drop <laughs> it down and I catch an amberjack, and she drops the vertical jig down right behind me, and this is what she pulls up. <laughs> we got dinner. Oh my gosh, we're going to be eating good tonight, <laughs> yeah. huh? It's amazing how good she is with that jig and how great she was doing with hooking those gags. Such an awesome fish to catch, too, man. It's one after wow. another. And that, again, is the five and a half ounce tsunami um, knife jig that we're using. Perfect weight for this depth of water. Again, we're in 59 feet of water. The water temperature is about 62 degrees right now, a bit chilly, <laughs> but the grouper and amberjack don't seem to mind at all. Oh no, they love wow. it. Wow. Out here with uh, with our captain, Shasty McNasty. Woo! And the fish is getting nasty too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and get him in the angle cooler. Let's do Louisa, it. Louisa, you are doing it, girl. Woo, let's, <laughs> oh let's my keep gosh. Doing. These, I gotta catch up to you. Yeah, these fish are hungry. Let's go feed them more. So I got a few nice AJs in the boat. Louisa's got a couple really nice grouper in the boat. And now Eric dropped down a pinfish and he's fighting a fish. Got the fish close to the boat and realized that now Eric has a nice grouper. Oh, it's a grouper. Nice. So everybody's catching these really nice gags, except me. I'm here pulling in AJs. And that grouper Eric caught was pretty nice. It ended up being just under 25 inches. Nice fish. I don't think he's going to make it. Ooh, I would put a measuring tape on him. I would definitely put a measuring tape on him. But that fish from the front to there, that is actually over 24 inches. That's all the bigger they gotta be. I hear the limit on uh, grouper is two per person, and they only have to be 24 inches, so he makes it. He's almost an inch over. 
And that's gonna be the best size to eat right there anyway. I'd rather eat him than a huge one. <laughs> Perfect, that's all I need for dinner. After catching several really nice amberjack and a few good grouper, we decided to go ahead and pull anchor and move to another spot and see if we can get into some more snapper or even some more grouper. So after getting to that next spot, Louise and I decided to both fish off the bottom, so we dropped down and almost instantly we were both hooked up. Woo, I set the hook good in this fish. Double jump. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> She's pulling like a good one. It was a pretty darn good day because we were pulling in a lot of doubles and that's the way I like it when we're fishing. If we're having two or three people drop down, I like to pull up two and three fish at a time. Guys, I got a red snapper. Good job, Louisa. <laughs> if this is a red snapper, it's a big one. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. Captain Jimmy and Louisa are at the plantation on Crystal River, fishing offshore with Captain Eric. They've landed plenty of amber jacks and grouper. And now, they're fighting a double, and Louisa's hooked into a red snapper. Guys, I got a red snapper! Good job, Louisa! <laughs> oh! Red snapper right here. All right. <laughs> Let's see what you got. I think it's a grouper. I think so. I know so. It's a big gag. Awesome. I just got a glimpse of him. Oh, and he's digging back down. It's a big old gag. Woo! So it was a really good way to start because we were getting exactly what we were targeting. Too bad we got to let him go. Yeah. All right, toss yours in, and I'm going right. to toss this one in the angle. After dropping down again, I hooked up, and this time it was fighting a little bit different. I wasn't really sure what it was at first. I think we got another red snapper coming up. Oh, look at this. It's a yellow tail, guys. Flag. Nice flag. That'll work. <laughs> well, I'll eat that up, that's for sure. I thought it was a red snapper, which are fantastic deep, but we gotta let those go. This one will definitely go home for dinner. And after that, Louisa hooked into a trigger fish. <laughs> Seems like they haven't been fed in a while. I'm glad to do the feeding. Oh, it is a trigger fish. We did catch a few trigger fish that day, which was very nice, and uh, we were releasing those as well. That's the trigger right here. This spot seemed to have a lot of snapper on it because the very next fish I caught was another snapper. Oh, I think it's another snapper. Not a monster, but went from amberjacks and gags to yellowtail snappers and red snappers. They got it all out here in Crystal River trying to avoid them and maybe get some mangroves mixed in with the grouper. But uh, you know, when you get red snapper on a spot, they kind of just take a spot over. And wouldn't you know it, very next fish, I hooked into another red snapper. Got him. All right. Ooh, now he's pulling a little. Oh, it's a big red snapper. Wow, nice one. And again, we gotta release them because they're out of season. <laughs> but if they were in season, that'd be a fine one to eat right there. These guys only have to be 16 inches when they are in season. This is probably about a 20 inch or so. Real nice one, real nice fish. Gosh, such pretty fish too. And one of the best eating snapper that you're gonna get out here. It only took me about five seconds and I was hooked up again. But wouldn't you know it, it was another AJ. I don't know what it is about those AJs, man, but they sure are drawn to me. They hit my line almost every single time. Here he comes. All right. Not what I was looking for. Not a very big AJ, but he's the size that'll eat the shrimp. And there he goes. I think we're done with this spot. We're gonna move on somewhere else, see if we can pick up some grouper or something on some rocks, because I am tired of the AJs now. 
decided to go ahead and head into shallower water, like about 10, 15 feet of water, and to try to troll for some grouper because we had a little bit of time left, and we were also trying to avoid the fog that was getting really thick offshore. We were trolling for a little while without getting any hits, but all of a sudden, one of the lines just got slammed. I guess it paid off coming back in. That fog is finally starting to burn off a little bit. It's amazing when you can be in a place like the plantation on Crystal River and you can go out and catch red snapper and grouper and amberjack and all that in one morning. The fish was pulling really strong, but it wasn't really pulling like a grouper. It was pulling like something else. No, it's a king. Hot dog. It's a king that didn't, uh, that didn't cut me off. Catching kingfish in December is definitely not typical for our area of the state. <laughs> All right, we've seen about everything today, guys. An amazing, amazing day out here in Crystal River. And uh, to finish it up on a big kingfish like this, after all those grouper and everything else we caught, is just a really, really nice surprise. I didn't expect to catch this in the middle of December. It's December 20th right now, and that one right there came in on one of those Josuri Hydro Magnums with just mono, just an 80-pound top knot leader, no wire at all. And uh, we got him. We got really lucky that he hit the right spot in the lure and didn't cut us off. And uh, that right there is a hefty kingfish. <laughs> so uh, that was definitely a surprise catch, and I was happy that we hooked it. But all I see is everything For more fishing and diving action, follow along on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Captain Jimmy Nelson. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson was brought to you by Salt Life. Live salty.